And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues. You really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that he is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Headlights on across North America. Ladies, if you see someone with the headlights on, show them your cans. Show us your cans. We flash you with our headlights. You flash us with your boobs. There's a lot of headlights on. Look around. You see the listeners out there? There's a lot of headlights on. Reward these men by showing them your knockers. If you see a nice pair of knockers, call us. Tell us what you saw. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. one 800 800 8 Six six, ladies. If you're on a freeway or a road where there's not enough headlights or no headlights, maybe you are stationed in a fixed location. You can call us here at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six, and we will hook you up. By the way, if you're listening somewhere else on the planet, and you'd like to report a, a showing, maybe you've seen a pair of boobs out there. Call this number, country code 1, area code 323, and the phone number is 520-6211. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show. Anything goes here, anything at all, we can talk about anything that's on your mind. It can be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. Just call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Larry is a podcast listener. He's listening from Wilmington, North Carolina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Going great, Larry. Well, um... I was recently tuned into you, my, my uh, co-worker, who I'm driving with right now, and uh, I broke up with my uh, girlfriend, and it's been absolutely great since. Um, I've had a girl to my bullpen. I've been going out having a great time. I don't know why I submitted myself to you two years of prison. But anyway, my question here is, it's been about a month, maybe a month and a half since we broke up, and she's been calling me lately, just telling me purely come over just for just for pure sex. That's all she says she wants. She doesn't want to kiss. She doesn't want anything. But I want you to know this girl was controlling. And basically, I just want to know your thoughts. Do you think I should go back to her and give it no. to her? No. What, 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 first of all, that they say that, that they just want sex. But the ex-girlfriend wants to be the next girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So don't do it. Don't do it, Daddy, unless you have no game and you can't find any women. Well, I mean, it took me a while to warm up, but, I mean, in this past few weeks, my game's pretty well on. It, it's, a lot of it's been your advice. I mean, yeah. never take phone calls on the weekends. That's a great one. Yeah. You, can, you pick up new girls on the weekends, and the ones that you had previous weekends call you during the week. That's right. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. So you might as well go for the new meat. Right. I agree. Well, all right, Tom. I think you gave me a good answer. Don't do it. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to go see her again. So, no uh, more. Can you me by out the way, Larry, by out? the way, Larry, before we do, no more girlfriends, okay? No exes. Bang them and clang them. No more commitments. Yeah. You can get no laid doubt. without a commitment. You can get laid without a commitment. All right. All right, how do you want to be taken out? Well, I got a, I got something new for you. Can you take me out nuclear style? That's the industry I'm in. Nuclear? Yeah, nuclear. I'll take out nuclear style right now. Who 
Oops, that was a nuclear accident. 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas show. This is LT on the Tom Likas show. Hello, LT. Well, all right, we'll get you right here, LT. Time Try that. All right. Um, long-time listener, man. Love the show. And uh, every day I'm driving around. I, I got you on at least, at least three, four times uh, a week. And it's very entertaining. And um, yeah, I never thought I would apply the Like It's 101 to my life. I just kind of took it as a radio show, and I really enjoyed it. It was funny, and I love listening to the people. And then I went from being in a relationship. I was out of a relationship, and I was casually dating off and on. It was no big deal. And I almost started to get into a relationship. And all of a sudden, in the back of my head, like, like training, all this like this 101 started to kick in. And it wasn't because of me just listening to it repetitively. It was because it was true. And this girl that I was with started to want to put the screws to me, and she started to want to have commitment and started wanting. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I turned her on to your radio station. And I actually made her listen to you. And at first she was really upset. And then she kind of agreed with some of the things that you were saying. And I tell her, listen, if we're in a relationship, the minute we get into that relationship, the minute we have that commitment, it's over. Because you're going to want something else. I'm definitely going to want, I already want something else. Um, it's, there's no point in having that, you know. And she kind of understands. So when I tell her now what she wants to get together, and I'm like, I tell her it's like this 101. She understands. It's all I have to say. And all it, it right. kind of works. You know, it definitely works. I totally love that. And I'm not only that, let me tell you something. I wouldn't have sex with her. I listened about a month ago. You started with this, you know, about having to be on the pill and the condom, and maybe the girl wasn't taking the pill, and that stuck in my head. She's on the pill. I'm wearing the condom. In fact, I'm going a step further. I'm going to get a vasectomy because I don't want kids. So what's the point? Or I'm looking at nice. somebody to have a little negative cash unit in my life. I don't need that. No, I mean, kids will drain your bank account dry. And then when they drain, drain it dry, if they haven't drained it completely dry, the woman you have the kid with will drain it the rest of the way. Forget it. That's something I, it's something I don't want, so there's no point in it. So it's just funny how, how it's just it's true. And a lot, of, a lot of people, especially a lot of chicks out there, probably believe that it's true also. I mean, they don't want to admit it because that's exactly, you're, you're giving away all their secrets. So they, they don't want you to do that. But the reality of it is, is that it is true. And I have, I have, I, I dare to call it a relationship. We, you know, I'm with somebody, but I tell her there's no commitment. I said, don't call me your boyfriend. I'm not your girlfriend. And you, you, you said something once on the radio about how you're with, with some girl and then you had to kick her out or something. And then she complained, but you said this and you said that. And then you said, I never said that, darling. I never said that, sweetheart. And that's what I keep in my mind. So I could always say to her when she brings that up, hey, I never said commitment. I never said boyfriend. I never said move in with me. You made those things up in your head. So she understands that I'm savvy to that, and I have you to thank for that. I love it. So I just wanted to thank you. And can you, you know what, can you take me out? Oh, one other thing I just want to tell you, what I don't hear often, which I love, it is so funny when you put people on hold with that thank you, we'll be right with you, when you get some dumb caller, <laughs> and you put them on hold. For, like, I just want to tell you, if you ever get the opportunity to do that, I will sit there. I don't care if you played that for an entire four-hour show. I would listen to that. <laughs> oh, you want to talk to Tom? Hold on. That's just very <laughs> I just want to tell you that right now. I, I get a ticket. I'm that. sure it'll happen before the show is over. All right, man. Hey, could you take me out um, that news chopper crash style? Oh, that's the most tasteless one in there. This may be the end of this thing. Well, he's taking okay, off he's out. running. Okay, uh, now it's a foot chase. Okay, now he's jumping now to he's another, in another vehicle. vehicle. Okay, okay. All right, they're Doors closing in. Police. Looks okay. like they've. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're going to pull out. We don't. We don't. Uh, we don't know what has just happened right there. Oh boy, we can guess. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number for wide open telephones. Randy of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? First time Great. caller. Thank you. Not, uh, first time caller. I barely started listening to you maybe like maybe a month already. And all this stuff you're saying is pretty much true, man. Them, them women are pretty crazy out there. <laughs> and I had my girl come over on Saturday, last Saturday. And, uh... Broke out four of my windows in my truck. Oh, now was this your girlfriend, Randy? Yeah, this is my girlfriend for five years. Why do you have a girlfriend? I don't know. I was young and dumb. Yeah, now well, I understand. Like, uh, this is why you never should have had one. Yeah, true, true. So, uh, what do you think of that one, Tom? What do you think? That's it, eighty six, sir, huh? Of course. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm I'm done. I just got a new. Then what do you need a girlfriend for? 
Uh, the sex was good. Pretty much, pretty much. There's it was plenty good. of good sex out there. So yeah, it was it was it was cool. Uh, well, last at the the romance, but not no more. Romance. So, so romance. I, so I thought, that's what I thought it was, but I don't know what was wrong with me. That uh, you you were insane, delusional. Yeah. I know. I was just as insane as her. Well, that's why you got what you got. Yeah, she got me, though. I learned my lesson, though, now. I'm done. I got a good job now, and I'm on it. No more of that. No more of that, buddy. That's what no. I've been... I listen to you. Your vice is on point now, brother. All right, Randy. Appreciate the, uh, the advice. Take me out uh, bong st style with I... uh, Snoop Dogg at the end. All right, here you go. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? First time Not in a much. long time, man. You're Thank you. a good fight. appreciate it. Thank you. Well, okay, here's my situation. I've got uh, this is girl that I we went out a few times. Um, she's bisexual, and her ex-girlfriend... I have never been C-blocked by a woman in my life. And, you know, she's made up a couple of stories that weren't true. And at this point, it's just a matter of pride and spite. And I feel as though I have to, to do this. But I've never gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, for a girl with another girl. And I'm a little, uh, I don't know what to do. Well, what is it you want to do? I want. I, I, at this point, I just want. I want to bang the hell out of her, Tom. I, I'm, I'm dying here, and I, you know, you want to bang the hell out of your girlfriend or her partner? No, I want to hang out with the girl. Her her partner is the one. Her ex partner is the one that has uh, just thrown salt and fire all over everything I've tried to do. So I'm at this point. I'm wondering is it, if it, is it even worth it anymore, or should I continue it on? Because I I, I got to believe it's worth it. I have to believe that it's worth it. Why do you need a girlfriend? I'm not. That doesn't have to be a girlfriend. I mean, I, at this but point, she is I, your girlfriend. No, she's no, she's not my girlfriend. We we we've been out a few times, and uh, and now there's been some weirdness because her ex girlfriend has done nothing but cause problems and trouble. And at this point, I feel like I cannot quit over this little gremlin looking ex girlfriend. It's just causing me nothing but problems. Oh, do, I, do, I cut, do I cut my losses? Do I, I, you know what? I don't on? need any. You know what? I, I have cut, uh, cut loose women for less than that. Anyone who's a hassle, anyone who's a problem, anyone who's TMW, you know what TMW is. Too much work. Too much work. Anyone who's too much work, I'm out. Uh -huh. You're out. Out. I don't know, but it's, it's a matter of pride at this point because this, this ex-girlfriend is forget, just... I mean, you know, forget it. You know what? I get my pride from making a lot of money, being successful by career. I hear you. Not at a, you know, I mean, good... As far as, I mean, I, I have no problems. With, her and I start talking when she was still dating the girl. And I have no problems with that. As long as, the, you know, the, the girlfriend is not dating a friend or um, I'm not, you know, friends with the boyfriend, then as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's open season. But um, I've just never been toe-to-toe. -to -toe, but as far as, you know, if you say, you know, cut my losses and run, then maybe that's just the right thing to do. Yep, that's what I would do, baby. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's the Tom Likas Show. Flash Friday, wide open telephones here at 1-800-5800-TOM. I've got a, an amazing call coming up here. An amazing story. Are you ready for this? You're not going to be hanging up. In fact, I recommend if you know anybody who likes a good, juicy story, juicy, you call them now. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to call somebody right now. You ready? Go. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Five, four, 
three, two, one, done. That's it. You had your time. Now let's get the story. This one's going to be amazing. Have you called everybody you going to call? Good. Mike of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Nick, Tom. I'm doing okay. Good. So, uh, the nutshell version of, of what I'm going through. No, right no, 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 no. Don't give me the nutshell version. Give me the whole story. I started feeling some remorse about some uh, escapades I've been involved in. And basically, it sums up to uh, I'm screwing this girl, and, you know, sex is great. Really how, good. How old, how old is she? Uh, she's in her mid 20s there. How does she look? What does she look like? Uh, well, in the morning she looks like hell, but every other time of the day she looks incredible. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. And then what happened? Well, uh, I was over at her house and, you know, her and her sister were right. cooking, you know, making, making dinner. And, um, right. one thing kind of led to another and, uh, I was staying over at that place uh, a little bit later. You know, I'm, I'm in between jobs, and I don't got a place I stay at regularly. So I'm I'm kind of couch surfing there, and her sister wants to tell me she has all these feelings for me. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, sorry. So so this girl said she had feelings for you, but really what she did was get on top and rode you like a pony. Pretty much. This is Pretty the much. sister. How old is the sister? Uh, sister is about two years younger, so she's early 20s. How does she look naked? Great. Way better than her sister. Really? Uh, that's my opinion. Was she better in the sack, the too? Angles. Was she better in the sack, too? Uh, no. She's experienced, so she's not better. But, uh, uh you know, hey, she tried. Looks that good, you don't care. I, I, yeah, that's the funny thing. The whole thing I'm calling about is whether or not I should care. Now, we'll, we'll, doesn't, we'll, doesn't, doesn't well, we have, we'll get to that in a second because something else happened too. What's that? Didn't you uh, have something yeah, to do well, with the mom too? Yeah, yeah, that, that's the last. And uh, why are you leaving that out? Well, that, that's the part where I really started to feel, you know, really started to feel bad. Uh, yeah, not soon enough. Tell us what happened. Well, the funny thing is. I went back to her house for uh, Easter, and I'm out there putting Easter eggs all over the lawn and stuff and hanging out with her, and, you know, she doesn't know about her sister yet, and her sister's there, so the whole thing's, you know, hush-hush. And, and then I look over, and her mother's there. And this is the classic cliche, but I swear to God, her mother's a real festive lady. She's wearing these bunny ears. Yeah, well, and she's she's giving kids treats and stuff. She's helping them find the eggs. One thing led to another with her, and uh, I wound no, no, up. No, no, no! Don't say one thing led to another. Tell us what led to what. I went over to the same house I was at. She was staying at. Her mother came over to visit. This is about two weeks after last Easter. Her mother came over to visit. Brought her some groceries and stuff. And I'm just couch surfing. And the next thing I know, her mother is over there, flirting, coming on to me, without saying anything for sure. And uh, this is in front of the daughter, but the daughter's not there. She's, she goes to the bathroom, and the mother's giving me the eye or whatever. Okay, well, the daughter goes out and uh, meets up with some of her friends. The mother's still there doing house cleaning and whatnot. And we wind up in the laundry room together, and I'm slamming her. Holy cow, how old is mom? Mom's 50-something. I didn't get her exact age. Women don't give that stuff out. What does mom look like? Uh, she looks pretty rough, man. But, you know, I mean, I was in between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Sounds like you were more into the hard place. Yeah, well, she was the rock. Oh, boy. Yeah. And um, how was it? Well, it wasn't as good as either of the daughters, but, you know. I'm not going to turn something down that comes my way, you know? So you took it? Yeah. And what, what was it like when you left uh, the laundry room? Uh, you know, we were quiet, and that, that's the part that started to make me feel guilty and, and awkward. She didn't say anything. I didn't say anything, you know? I mean, there were no tears, but it was just one of those things, you know? 
and now I'm starting to wonder if the mother knows about the other daughter. The whole thing's playing games with my head there. Well, uh, uh, Mom, I obviously heard from somewhere that you had something going for you. Well, I mean, what's next, the grandma? You know, where, where do I go from here? You never know. It, it's starting to knock a little there. Sounds to me like they like to share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess they do, huh? I guess they do. I mean, dude, you've done something. For all the things I've done in my life, you've done something I have never, ever done. Are you serious? I have never had the sister, and I have wow. never had the mom, and I have never had the sister and the mom. That's a Quinella. Is it? You know how rare that is? Well, you know, talking to you makes me feel better, because I was starting to feel like kind of a scumbag, but I'm starting to feel a little more triumphant, you know, listening to you. You don't need a girlfriend. Yeah, maybe you're right. I should probably break up with this chick, huh? Well, you don't even have to break up with her. When she finds out, then you move on. Well, I'm trying to get... This is maybe too much for you, but I'm thinking about getting all three of them. Together? No, separate, of course. Yeah, together. Well, how are you going to do that? I don't know. Well, I get, you look, I say it's worth a shot. I, the, the odds are it's never going to happen, but, uh, you know, if you I, don't care if the relationship goes away... Well, help that's, me out here. That's I mean, the if, dream. If be, that's the dream. If I'm going to be throwing the relationship out the window, I mean, I need to know the right moves. What, what should I bait them with? Well, you know, what, what would you do in my Well, I get them all drunk. That's it. Booze. That's what I was thinking. And one of them will start touching you, and the others have already touched you, so who knows what they'll do. <laughs> you know what? I like the way you think. I'm going to go down to the liquor barn, and I'm going to make this happen. That's what you got to do, Mike. Hey. Uh, well, God bless you, man. Thanks for the advice. Give us a full report. You got it, man. All right. Thanks a lot. There goes Mike. He wants to get the mom, the sister, and the girlfriend all at one time. Ooh, I told you that was juicy. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's wide open telephones on this Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Louie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hello. Louis, I'm great. Good. Hey, I got about something, uh, something about uh, funny names. Uh, I used to date Guadalupe. They are called, uh, for endearment, Lupitas, you know? Yes. And I used to call her because she was, like you say, TMW or high maintenance. Yes. Losers, losers ultimate pain in the you-know-what. <laughs> she didn't like it. Uh, she cut me off, you know? Uh-huh. But, <laughs> but, you know, and then shorted for Pita, you know, Lupita, Pita, you know, same thing, you know, pain in the, the rear. Yes. And, uh, I used to have a, a bar in the 80s in Puerto Vallarta. We call it the single bar. You know what single means, you know? You like I do. Words. You stay intoxicated uh, nightly, get laid every day. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they finally shut us down. So, But you know what? Uh, the, the, the thing about it is um, in Puerto Vallarta, a lot of people listen to you because uh, you're a spokesman right here. And I just made a joke out about church, and it says, I listen to like us. You know what? You can, uh, you know, make your car say, I listen to like us. Girls go with you instead of going through with somebody else because they, there's no attachment whatsoever. Spring I break, love that. The spring breaks work, uh, you know, marvelous over there. Oh, well, what. Puerto Vallarta is one of my favorite places in the whole world. I've been there, there. many, many times. There you go. I love it. <laughs> and then I dated that girl, come, you know, how they call the precious, the leeches, whatever, you know. She was called Cutie. And uh -huh. uh, I just made something about that, you know, chronic urinary tract infection. Excellent. <laughs> hey, don't, <laughs> she doesn't call herself that no more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. And uh, before AIDS, before AIDS, you know, or HIV, whatever, in Puerto Vallarta was, uh, you know, free market, free, whatever, you know, nice and everything. Now it gets a little bit tougher, but as you say, and I, I recommend that use your protection more than one if it's possible. Absolutely. <laughs> That's Absolutely. Fun. Double bag it, baby. There you go. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and, uh, this guy, he just called me boss, and I told him, don't do that anymore because boss backwards is double SOB, so I don't want to beat that. <laughs> and, and you know what? Uh, because we've been from Mexico, the, the language reads backwards and sounds the same because phonetically it's perfect, you know? Uh, he started with the, the COVID stuff, you know. COVID just read it backwards. If you're stressing out, he be okay. Italian or Ebonics, he be okay. <laughs> <laughs> when the problem with that, 
With a problem with that lady, Kate Saver, that you made famous, you know? I, I made yeah. that joke over there in Puerto Vallarta. Everybody was, like, laughing, you know? <laughs> nice talking to you, Tom, and I'll see you there one of these days. I'll, I I'll hope you, you do. You are a okay. long-time listener, Louis. Thank you. Very kind. Uh, right. un unbelievable. Tom Likes. Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likes Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Tiana on the Tom Likes Show. Hello. God, how are you? I'm doing good. So I have a problem. Okay. <laughs> My problem is that I would love to find a guy I can just bang all the time and not have to worry about a commitment. And I'm having trouble doing that because every guy that I go out with wants to be in a serious relationship. You probably need to see a radio talk show host. <laughs> Well, we radio talk shows, we're on the radio. <laughs> we're easy to find. <laughs> there. <laughs> darling, darling, I, seriously, uh, are you looking at guys all in your age group or a bunch of pussies? What are you looking at? You know what? I'm 28, so I'm looking for someone in their, you know, mid-30s. And, you know, someone attractive just has their life together and, you know, we can have fun. Look at you. What do you look like? <laughs> I'm really cute. I'm Hispanic. I'm, you know, I surf. I'm in shape. I have big knockers. <laughs> I'm not really? fat. So, yeah. Wow. And all you I'm, wanted to be banged. Yeah, I mean, I'm stable. I have a great job. I have my own house. I'm not, you know, one of those weird psycho chicks. I just don't have time or effort or, you know, I don't want put all the other stuff I could be investing in my career and in myself into someone else. So, Wow. Yeah. Well, I can be out down in about 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't, I don't even want to know your last name. I, well, I know yours, but I wouldn't have to know yours. <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. Just put one boob in each uh, eye and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be on the road there. <laughs> wouldn't that be great? Yes. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? I don't know. What, what are we doing now? <laughs> we're we're going to get that done, for God's sake. What are we doing? <laughs> if she just wants to be banged and doesn't want a relationship, my goodness. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Chris... On the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Chris. How you doing, Tom? Great. Glad to talk to you again. I just want to give you a quick update. I well, wait, 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 wait. Before you do, yes, sir. Tell, tell everybody what we talked about last time you were here. All right. Last time I talked to you, I, I, was, I was with a girl five years. She went crazy with me on the phone. She cut herself. And, uh, you know, she went a little crazy. Well, not a little crazy. She went a lot of crazy. Cut herself, and you gave me the best advice of my life. Which was? Which was get rid of her. Run away. So you did it. I did it that day. I called her up right after, right after she was released from the mental institution. <laughs> I, I, I said, see you later. I said, I'm glad that you're doing better. I hope you get better, but I'm out. Really? I I was out, and I'll tell you what, the past few weeks have been the best of my life. The Is best. that so? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've, I've reconnected with a few uh, lovely ladies that I, I, I was actually following your advice about. You know, bang them, bang them. Having a great time. I love it. Fantastic. Absolutely. I just got to say, you know what? If anybody is out there listening to this right now, before they get crazy, before you get in a relationship, before you start setting yourself in this position where you're just stuck with a, a potentially crazy lady, don't even do it. Listen to Dad. Make this, make this happen. And, and, and really, you don't need that in your life. 
you will be so much happier the minute you walk away, the minute you walk away, that there's no question. Quit questioning yourself. Quit, quit asking. Stop asking these questions. That guy about the mom, the the sister, you know, the grandmother, whatever he was talking about, get out of it. I don't care if you're out of a job. There are women out there that will take care of you. There are women out there that will bang you if you have a job or not. Don't be stupid. You're absolutely right. Yes, sir. I, I appreciate it so much. I'm out. I'm, I'm having a great time, and I owe it all to you, Tom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can you take me out bong rip Snoop Dogg style? I certainly can. Biatch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Anthony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Anthony. Second time listener, second time caller. Excellent. Yes, I'm calling about yesterday's topic. You were talking about the brews of the beers. Yes. And someone mentioned to you arrogant bastards. Actually, it was it was Wednesday's topic. But okay, go ahead. My, my, yes. So I um they mentioned arrogant bastard and it caught your attention, and there was nothing more said of it. Basically, arrogant bastard is from Stone Brewery. Good beer. I Stone is it. known. Stone is known for very hoppy beers. Uh, very. B- yeah, being from the San Diego area. Although I still don't understand why San Diego has all these hoppy beers. Do you? I don't. But you know what? They're doing a good job with them. Wow! And I just wanted to call you and let you know, um, Stone Brewery. I know you're here in the LA area. It's not a far drive, and they have excellent lunch, dinner, and a good tour of the beer and everything. I recommend it. Sounds good to me. Oh, thank you, Tom. I just want to let you know that. Can you take me out with the bong hit African tribe style? I certainly can. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello. Boy, a lot of calls coming in here on this Flash Friday. Let's say hi to John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. John. Tom. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to come out that way. I thought you were going to call me Johnny. I don't know if you're talking to me. Anyhow, Tom, I love your show, and uh, I just wanted to get some advice from you, not about women. Um, I want a successful career like you, and uh, I'm also interested in public service. I'm trying to become a police officer. And uh, I just wanted to get your opinion on what you think of of that uh, profession and and if you think that uh, someone who listens to you is is the kind of person that should pursue that profession. Well, uh, it has nothing to do with being the kind of person who listens to me. We have many police officers who do listen. Many. And um, all I can say is that uh, the police officers who do tune in, they're real men. That's why they like the show. They're guys. They're the ultimate guys. Well, I agree, and that's that's what I'm trying to become. Tom, do you know, um, do you have any advice for a guy who's who's, who's been pursuing this? For, for, you know, maybe the last year. I mean, uh, you're a connected guy. Do you, do you know maybe... Um, have you attended an academy? You know, I, I haven't because I've been trying to get hired, but I've been considering that. Okay. You know if that's a good route to take to sponsor myself? Well, I, I think it's a good idea if that's what you want to do. Yes. Well, it absolutely is. And I just kind of wanted your blessing because that's truly really what I want to do. And, and I, I don't... I've been listening to you for a long time, but I've... I've never heard you uh, give an opinion about police officers or what you think of them, so that's why I decided to call in. I respect your opinion. Well, uh, for me, I, uh, of course, uh, respect the work that cops do. Uh, We have a lot of friends who are cops, and we uh, always look forward to having more uh, cops as our customers because, uh, you know, a more loyal group and a more manly group of men you're never going to find. Yeah, I I agree, and I think that's what attracts me to it. The only thing I want to do. Good for you. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Um, can you take me out, police officer style? What would that be? 
I don't know. I just made that up, Tom. So that would be funny. But uh, thanks again. And if you ever come up with police officer style, please play it for me. I'll remember you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Happy Appreciate the uh, happy Flash Friday to you as well. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, uh, Tom. Um, I want to know, how do you present the idea for a prenup for getting married? How do you present it? Yeah, how do you sell the idea? Oh, if you have to sell it, you're marrying the wrong person. <laughs> I mean, why are you worried about it? Uh, you know, just kind of protection, get a marriage condom, kind of, you know, make sure make sure uh, nothing happens 10 years from now. We don't both turn No, into, I, I think it's a good idea, but why are you worried about how to present it? Um, I don't know. In case um, it turns out, I don't, I don't want it to turn into a real issue. I just want to. She it. might say no, and you know what you're going to do then? You're going to say, well, it's been very nice knowing you. Okay. That's uh, great advice. I mean, anyone who will not sign a prenup is not the woman for you. I see. Okay, so don't, don't really uh, don't really worry about trying to sell the idea. If they accept it, good. They don't. They have no choice. <laughs> All you, right. What are you laughing about? You know what? You have to set the bar now if you insist on getting married. By the way, why do you even need to get married? Well, I love the chick, and... Um, Gonna get married, pretty much. Yeah, but I but you can't you love do you love her now, right? Yes, for about. So five marrying years. her isn't gonna make you love her or love her more. No, no, it's not. So it's, why do you need um, to get it's married? More, it's, it's more uh, just to keep the traditional kind of sense. Yeah, well, in the, guess what? There are certain traditions that are not gonna be kept. Uh, you won't be getting your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You won't be getting your socks folded. You know what I'm saying? You won't be getting a virgin. So, so why why are you supposed to be the one who supplies the traditions, but not her? Well, who's to say that she's not going to? Any who's not she's not going to too? You know. I just told you she's not going to. <laughs> and that how do you, how do you how do you know that? Divorced four times, Mike. Hmm. I've been there. I don't know. Um, well, I think um, I don't know. I think it's still um, still something that can work, and I've seen it work in my whole. Well, when it doesn't, home. you're going to pay half of everything you have. Hmm, that's a good point. I mean, it's working now, right? Yes. Why do you need to change it? Not sure. I just uh, love her and want to get married. I suppose you, you you don't know what getting married means. What does it mean exactly? It means you're agreeing to give her half of everything you have. I well, mean, you already love her. You already have sex with her. You are agreeing to give her half of everything. That sounds like a good deal to you. Not to me. The Tom Likas Show. Southern California's FM Talk Station. 97.1. Free.